Hello, how are you? I'm great. How are you? I'm doing fine. Good. It's good to see you again. You too. You too. So how you been? I'm doing fine. How are you? Great. Okay. Okay. So. I had to calm down a little bit, but we're back. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so I'm going to start with, uh, so on February the 5th, 2012, Paul Mortar published a video on YouTube in a purple robe. How do you feel about I that? I don't like it. I mean, I, and I'm, I'm going to minister on this. I, I want you preachers to stop changing your, and I'm, Somebody, I was in Memphis, Tennessee for my cousin's funeral in November, and some- Oh, I'm sorry to hear. Yeah, one of my, some, one of my cousins said, you shouldn't say that. I said, why not? I want you preachers to leave my purple call alone. I'm noticing all of a sudden y'all are changing y'all churches to purple, and you're putting your choir members in purple robes. I know I don't, I, I, that's my color, that's my image. You keep your churches burgundy, green, or whatever. Do not be changing your churches to purple and lavender. You will ne I mean this. You will never be the renowned Lerone Baker. It ain't going to happen. So, no, he going to dress up in a purple robe uh, just like mine. So you think they're trying to steal your Oh, image? yeah, very much so. The, the Bible said without a vision, the people perish. That's Some true. people don't have a vision. So they, they see what you do, then get up and do it and emulate it and try to push it off like it's them. You know, I got that robe designed in 1989. That's my image. Leave it alone. Don't, don't, e don't even look at it. <laughs> don't, don't even do it. Stop changing the purple. So, uh, Apostle R.J. Washington From Jacksonville, is, an, Florida. is another preacher besides G.E. Patterson who emulates your purple robe. So you think all of them they're trying to? Yeah. Well, I don't. Uh, yeah, because when I was when I when I left, I had that robe design in '89. Uh, I traveled all across the United States with that robe. I got press releases of earlier days to prove it. You know, there right. were Daisy. There were no purple. So before you, you there were no black purple, churches with nobody, no purple. None. Nobody. There were none. You know, and they want to act like I ain't no better. That's fine. But I I must be you bothering my stuff. You right. keep bothering my ankle set of music. You keep bothering me and my stuff. Leave me alone. Don't be, if you so original moving who you think you are, because when you get, I'm happy with who I am. See, I ain't got to emulate you. I know who I am. That's yeah, so, so when I moved to, I, I lived in Memphis. I left Memphis and moved to Illinois. Left Illinois, moved to Indianapolis. From 92 to 94, I lived in Illinois. And then 94 to 95, I lived in Indianapolis. 95, I went to Jacksonville, Florida to live from two, up to 95 to 2003. R.J. Washington, don't laugh on him. His church wasn't even built. I, I read up on him. Uh -huh. I think he started his ministry in 85. Okay. And he had looked, four years later, he, 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 that church wasn't built in no 85. No, it wasn't even built in the 80s or 90s. I don't think it was. I don't think it was. But however it was, it came after the world-renowned Evangelist Ron Baker Evangelical Purple Road. So next thing I know, he got a church. He got the lavender seats in it, the same exact color. Because I was doing TV appearances down in Illinois and tributes to my, down in, down in Florida. And a friend of mine went to his <coughs> church, and he heard of me. Because a friend of mine told him he was coming to my, one of my revivals, and he told my friend of mine, he said, I heard him. I heard he's not a nice person. I heard he's very prophetic and discerning, but he's not an easy person to get to know. Right. So he knew, he knew of me. Yeah. So next thing I know, I was saying he got this purple, same exact, it's too many color <laughs> purples, you know what I'm saying? They, 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 Daisy, it seems minor but i find it offensive yeah. because that's not even normal for black churches the bible said dress in modest the pearl i'm not modest i'm wrong okay you keep your churches burgundy and whatever color leave my purple color alone that um when the um when a friend of mine told me i said oh, okay so i guess he was trying to tell my friend you know obviously i wasn't a nice guy you know, no, I'm not. I'm not the type of person that you can walk on or manipulate. So if, if you, if that makes me not nice, I'm sorry. Well, I'm because sorry. they just didn't want you to say anything about that purple robe. They want it. 
They can't have it. <laughs> they can't, and, 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 I, and I got some people writing up so, some stuff now. So and I'm a, I'm Bishop a, uh, Charles Blake, he's using it as well? Well, I, I, you know, the thing about Bishop Blake is that I think, I don't think he know G. See, sometimes we can do things right. and but not know where it, where came, it from. came from. Him and G. Patterson were like this. That, that was his friend. Yeah. So I'm thinking, they thinking, oh, this is upgrade color. But you need to know, he got that purple color from, from me. you. I saw him. At, I saw him holding a purple microphone. What? <laughs> a purple microphone. And, and they was doing a yes. Go on, laugh, cameraman. <laughs> <laughs> a purple. He had a purple microphone in his hand. I saw him. Uh, they look. They had these little programs made up, logos. It was the same exact purple. How many? How many color purples do you know of, Tony? There's a lot. Why? Why, Daisy? Why that color? Because they want to be like you. That, that, I, no, you can't be me. They want to be like you. You can't be like me. I, and I, I'm not. This is this. I'm. I'm. I am serious about this. this I know. It is <laughs> disgusting. It's despicable, and it's not God. God ain't right. got you emulating. Emulate the Bible said that is that is a jealousy. Emulation is a form of really jealousy because when you get through doing what you're doing, I will never be Daisy Collins. I hope not. You see what I'm saying? <laughs> I love Diana Ross. I love Diana I Ross. Know but it. you would never see me go get weaved down in my head. Might look and nice. dressing up in no gown scene ain't no mountain high in no top. <laughs> if you need me, I love you. <laughs> Trying to be Diana Ross. Because I would never be Diana Ross. Right. I'm Lerone Baker. Right. You people need to find out who you are and get away from me. This mess is disgusting. But they don't know who they are. That's why they're emulating so I'm th you. I'm, think I'm thinking he did it. Probably trying to upgrade probably because he from G. E. Palliser, right. but he, your little friend, emulated him, not like he's so original so much. Right. That little punk one number, the little old church sissy. That sissy <laughs> pulled that color and put it in the church, and you round there doing it, doing it. You know, yeah. it's another little preacher doing it too. Come out of coaching. Wow. So a lot of people who don't have a vision, you saying they're riding on your back. The, uh, the trying to pull your powers, well, pass it on as theirs. They're emulating. The and, and, I, and this is something I wish a lot of preachers, that is really a sin to emulate. It's really, it really, it, it is sick, Daisy. Well, because you really don't, don't know if, who you are. If they don't have a vision, they're wanting to be like you. Do you know, do you know? They're using I don't, I don't, I don't, I don't, I don't, I am original. On my page, I got the original Melhogany. The Laron, I am original. I, ain't, I know I'm not the normal. Right. I know I'm not. I know I'm very unique, and I say that humbly. I'm not. I know. I know ain't nobody like me. But, but I don't. I don't. I, and I, but I don't. I do not want you emulating me. I got. Um, there was something else I was gonna tell you. You made me forget it. Um, I don't want you emulating me. Cause you making me lose my thought. I'm here. sorry. I, I don't. I don't take. But, hold on. What? I don't take compliments <laughs> very well, Daisy. I don't like nobody trying to emulate me. I don't like it. But that's because they love what you're doing. It's not. See, but hold on. They don't see, like. No. They, no. No. Days. These preachers have never invited me to their churches. Hold on. That right or wrong. If you admire me or like me, usually you're gonna try to get to know me. Right, or invite you to do a sermon or something. But you think you can ch just pull my color? I don't. Another preacher did. It was I don't know about Bishop Brandon Porter. Yeah. Mm -hmm. From Memphis, Tennessee, Coos Kojic. I was driving with my cousin in 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 um in November. That's what I was telling you earlier from yeah. my cousin's a funeral, and I looked over and saw <laughs> a lavender picture of him on on. It was a bus. What a picture. On the was bus? A, on the bus, a picture. I think it was in Lavender. I said, oh, my goodness. And I actually called the church. Come to find out he got two churches. I think it was one on Chelsea and one out somewhere in, in the East Memphis area. Okay. And the, and the sanctuary is. All purple. Purple, la lavender, purple. I mean, these nigga knows the lost their man. Wow. Don't even know where they got it from. But they can't stay, ain't got an invitation from them people, ain't called me. God knows they don't like me. I know they don't. I ain't, the thing about, I don't care if you don't like me. I ain't, I ain't trying to be in y'all messy homosexual click club. I ain't, right. I ain't got time. I would never mess with a church sissy. 
I don't like a church sister shouting all over the church and you get screw, like screwed on your behind and shouting all over the church. <laughs> then you think I'm going to mess with you. <laughs> Even when I was messing with men, you, you wouldn't know they was gay. I wouldn't mess with no sissy. <laughs> No church sissy. I'm sick of these sisters. They hit on my nerves. <laughs> the pumps get on the way, man. Me. You are so crazy. <laughs> <laughs> I'm fed up with them, girl. <laughs> okay, so the eighth commandment says, "You shall not steal," and the tenth commandment say, "You shall not cover your neighbor's house. Thank you, you shall not cover your neighbor's wife." nor his male it's wrong. servant, it's wrong. nor his female servant, and if you're not spiritual minded, if you're donkey. not spiritual minded, you're going to laugh this off. Yeah. But that's one of the, that is, is a, it is wrong. How I look, just say we, I was one of your close girlfriends. Mm -hmm. You see what I'm saying? Right. And every time, like what you got on, mm -hmm. we hooked up next week and I had the same thing you had. I would be upset. The same thing you had on. <laughs> I would say. Hold on, hold on. <laughs> and then, then a month later, we, we go into our other friend's <laughs> wedding. Hold on. Just say, we, we do to be at a wedding in February the 6th. Let's just make up a date. Mm -hmm. And you say, ooh, I got this bad pink dress. And, ooh, you know, and you say, and I, ooh, let me, I come over to your house. Ooh, let me see it. I go over there, and you got a little rose you go put in your head and shoes to match. And I say, oh, okay. And I got like a couple of weeks for the, for, the, right. for the wedding. Next thing I know, I'm picking you up in my car. And I come. And you got on the same and we, thing I, I got, got the on. same thing you got on. I would be pretty And upset. we in the car together. Going some I Hold on, and you, so, and you, and you, and you just, you just, you like, you want, you wondering to yourself, okay, you know. Then next thing you know, in March we do to be at the banquet. That's the girl. What you gonna wear? Then next thing I know, you say, oh, I got this bad black dress, and okay, girl, I, I, when I get off, I'm gonna come out and see what you. Ooh, girl, you got some bad clothes. Next thing I know, I said, where you get it from? At March, it's okay. I done went to March, and you don't know it. And got the same thing. And got stuff. the same thing. Got, got my hair done like you now, my nails. I done found out where you got your nails done at. I'm going to get my nails done. Next thing I know, ooh, I like your car, girl. It's time me get another car. Where you get it from? Next thing you know, I'm driving up in a new car. You look like your car. Something is wrong with me. Yeah, there's something, something wrong, wrong with, that with picture. you. You know what? When I was in high school. I saw this movie on Lifetime. I know I keep cutting you off. And this Don't be cutting me off. I gotta say something. <laughs> say something. <laughs> I'm trying to remember. Go on. Let me say something. Okay. Quick. So, talk about dressing alike. When I was in high school, because you know everybody shop at the same place, right? I would make all my clothes because I did not want anybody looking like me. Exactly. You, so, you I see what I'm saying? I stayed up all night. My mom, you know, I would, I would stay up all night to make something new to wear. But my mom, she if it wasn't right, she would rip the thing out and make me start all over again. <laughs> I was so mad. <laughs> but I, I did it because I did not want to look like everybody else, like you. I, I'm an individual. I don't, like I don't want nobody looking like I me. I don't like it. I don't like shopping where everybody's going to have on. You go somewhere and you know you're looking good. I got And it. somebody else got on that same outfit. Let me see. I ain't wearing that outfit no more. <laughs> <laughs> that, but do you see my point? Yes, you I actually, do. I, I, I saw do. this movie on, I love Lifetime. Me because too. Because a lot of them be true, true story, but this movie came on last week. It was really spooky. This lady, uh, they, her and this man and this lady were working at a place together. And come to find out, one of the ladies went on to be a professional surgeon to do plastic surgery and mm -hmm. stuff. This other lady worked with them, and she ended up marrying this guy that the woman, uh, she wanted, but the other woman got it. But come to find out. Oh, I think this, I've seen this story. Hold on. This woman, <laughs> cameraman, this woman went and actually started going to different plastic surgery, showing that lady's picture and getting her face and boobs and chest and behind to the point, her hair to the point where she looked just like this woman. And when the woman found out about it, she approached her and said, I want you to stay away from that. She was going to her friends and stuff, poisoning her friends against her. Now, you trying to be like me, but you don't, right. you really don't like me. Right. There's something wrong with you. Yeah. Okay, then this woman go turn around later on. And when the woman approached her, guess what she said? I want to be perfect like you. She got all out of control. Why to kill the woman? Because she want the woman. When you get through, you will never be me. Something is 
psychologically, psych something is wrong with you people. Right. Yep. That is not normal behavior. No, How not. you gonna emulate a person that you don't even know? You don't even like me, but you go get your church changed to purple, dress your choir members up in a purple robe, got a purple image of you on a on a bus. bus. Don't even know. Don't don't like me, and go try to push it off as the Lord gave you this vision. Something wrong with them people. Yeah, that, that's a problem. That's not normal. That's a problem. If I was talking to a psychologist, that, that is not, that's not normal behavior. No, it's not. You don't know who you are. You don't. You don't. Because you're trying to be somebody else. It's just crazy. It is crazy. So, I don't know. Yeah. That's a problem. The church has a hard time understanding you say if you so much much more moved if, if they so much who, if they so much they who move in who are you are you? move in who you are leave and me alone Leon. and don't move in the wrong baker if you really who you say you are and you said the lord is speaking to you act like i because see i'm not waiting on you because see i packed that purple robe up in my closet and i'm gonna put it in a in a, in a i got uh like one of those glass things uh -huh. To a, put it, to keep it. With a mannequin, I'm going to leave, and I'm, I'm gonna, when I die, I'm gonna, I'm, it's going to have it. I got four nieces. But see, I'm telling y'all, now I already know. It's been foretold. I'm chosen. I know I know what this is. I, it ain't that. I know that I'm, ch see, I used to fight my call. I don't do it anymore. You see, don't? The, because, see, I, I, what I was doing was I've learned to accept who I, I understand what it is. And I've accepted but it. But you was running away from it. I didn't want to accept that I was unique and chose, but I know that I am. Yeah. And you know that I am. And I know that you know, but I tell you one thing, you ain't finna pull enough for me. It ain't gonna happen. And this is another thing I want to say. I want to get off this too. Um, I have one of you bloggers out there. I don't like your sissy behind. You have one and two. I'm noticing you are... I, when I wrote my book, there were some pictures I took from my book. One of them is kind of new picture, and I ain't got nothing on. I'm looking to my side, mm -hmm. and I got my coat up here. He trying to you trying to emulate my images. Number two, you train some of your videos. I had my TV show in a, in Illinois called um, The Evening with Ron Baker. I used the closing credit to reflections, reflections that I've seen reflections of. The way life used to be. Right. At the end of the credits going up, uh -huh. I put in an animation cartoon for him. This hypocrite then went and changed some of his videos to animation cartoon. Okay. Then you turn around and bother my uncle said to walk around heaven song and lash it and attach it to one of your to one of your videos with that girl who touched my song. I see you, sissy. You do not want to. I'm gonna tell you something. I'm not gonna call your name out because see now, now they what they're doing. They like to get up and and slam and cut folk down for publicists. I'm not gonna argue with you, but God is gonna ordain a time for me and you, brother. You, I'm telling you to leave me alone because if you don't, you ain't no match in the spirit world. Because once the anointing lock in me, you, it's a wrap. Trust me. Him, I've got four preachers. Three of them. When I when I do another interview with you, I'm gonna rebuke them. One of them. The re I'm, a, I'm, a, I'm trying to help you if you want this, but I don't think you, if I call your name out, you're not going to receive it. But see, you go. Don't on, call their name. I'm not. But what, Daisy, listen to me. reason why you're going through what you're going through, my brother, is because you tried to emulate what I've done. God told me to do something, and I did it. You thought you can get up and duplicate or emulate the person that I posted that did it. So you got cast down. See, it's, it's dangerous when you try to emulate. It, 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 was a, it was a little high at the moment. And when that man asked you to humble yourself down, you didn't. So you got cast down. Okay. Now he up here cutting folk down and they discussing and despicable. But see, you put yourself in that, in, that, in that situation, trying to emulate me. You can't, you can't do what I do and come out successful. Because I do things according to the, it took me this long to do this interview. Right. Because I didn't want to, I wanted to make sure I wasn't in self. Right. Self will mess you up every time. It sure will. Okay, then I got two actors who done went in my book. I got a time for these Ladimas. One of them then got a TV series and put a lot of my stuff in the book. And one of this, this little heifer 
then create a little TV program dealing with church issues then got stuff out of my book. I'm a God, one of she got so much money she think can't nobody touch her. Sister girl, I'm going to do an interview on you and after I do the interview, I've sent angels already to attack you and to strip you down because let me tell you something, you're dealing with a prophet girl. You don't know who you're messing with. You think she got so much she think can't nobody touch right. her. But see, you're dealing, with, you're dealing with that man up there. Touch not my anointing. And see, anointing don't necessarily mean a person. There are some things God got in order for a certain reason. And like, for example, if you got a picture in your house, mm -hmm. you don't want nobody coming there bothering your picture. Right. You got it there a certain way. Right. God got things set for a certain thing. Who do you think you are that you can get in touch and think you can capitalize off of it for self? Because from what I hear, you don't even know how to really believe in God. She, she, I heard her say, um, well, he's not the way we imagine him to be. I ain't gonna call her name out because you think hard enough, you know who I'm talking about. She thinks she's so much because she got money. But see, you're dealing with the prophet. I'm coming for you too, sister girl. Me and you one on one, okay? Um, that wicked Jamal Bryan, he went into a lot of my interviews. And um, like one of my interviews, I was talking about I sh when I said in that interview how. I should have went public then right, I remember about that. that rape and assault. He yes. going to get up in one of his sermons. You know, some people saying they need to, um, um, uh, they should have came out then. And, you know, what you in my interviews for? You don't like me. I emailed him some year, about a year or two ago because I was going through some of those copyright issues. Right. I emailed like three preachers to help me fight for those copyrights. They didn't respond back to me. You people don't like me, but you want to try to strip me of my power. Because if you really wanted to get to know me, you would have responded back. Right. I have no, I have no, and I'm not saying this out of bitterness. And I've been telling y'all this for years. There's nothing about you preachers I want to be. My, my idols are deceased. Raymond Burr, Perry Mason, Barbara Hale, Della Street, Gail Fisher from um, Bannix, Peggy Fair. Um, they're gone. These are my role. These people I, I looked up to when I was right. little. I'm about yeah. to cry because they were inspirations for yeah. me. You, my uncle Seth are gone, and there's Andrews. My role models are gone. I, there's there's not but probably two gospel singers in that industry. I'm not gonna call their name because I know you're gonna flock to them because see, I I can tell when the people have an extra, they're gonna flock to them try to get some anointing and lash right. to them because these people are thirsty. They're dying because the Bible said without a vision, the people perish. That's when, right. your, when your phone get low of energy, yeah. you have to plug it in. That's right. Or it's going to die. That's they, right. need some, they need something to stay alive. That's it. It ain't Mr. Baker. You move away around me. I see you people. I see you. Don't do it. So he going to get up and uh, try to go on my little interviews. Now, you ain't called and contact me. But guess what? I already sent the angels for you. Yeah. I already, see, I got, see, the thing about me. I pray. Yep. They don't, they don't. They don't believe in the spirit. They don't believe in the spirit world. I don't know why they don't. If they because teach because when you call them, they moving <laughs> in and they they don't really believe in prophets. They don't believe God was stripped. They don't understand half I'm going through stuff and don't know why they're going through it. Because you messing with the anointing of God. Right. You can't cross God's anointing and come out all right. Nope. I'm trying to save you from death, possibly death. Okay. No, they're gonna die. But I'm gonna do, we gonna do we gonna do an interview on that. We gonna do an interview on that. You know, it's so many segments. Yeah. And I'm gonna deal with this. But you people need to. And when I call these certain situations out, you know who you are. And he's got one preacher, who actually lives in Atlanta. Actually made a playlist. I guess he calls himself Market Me or something. And ain't none of my play. Ain't none of my videos in it. But he got my name up there. With a list of plate of his plate of his videos in it. What? Not a man in it. So what why is he doing that? Why does he have your name? But up you there? you so big, you so much. You don't need, you don't need hold, hold your on, name. Hold, hold on. You ordain I'm a, I'm gonna say this, I'm, a, I'm so they'll know who I'm talking about. You ordaining babies with a gay couple. Which is really I don't care what you say, that's not right. If you go uh, 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 the thing about this gospel, if you people aren't going to preach the whole gospel, I would just have a seat. Because you either, which I do believe you got some gay in you. I believe you gay. And plus number two, I do believe that you are, got up and said what you said about those gay people in the gay people, the, the homosexual lesbian community, to win them over the flock to your church. 
this really which this reason why you really did mm -hmm. it. It ain't it ain't that you believe that it's wrong or right. You try to build yourself up on their backs. Cause see, a lot of homosexual people, although they're doing it, they're still rejected by a lot of people. Right. So you did that to make them feel like they're welcome in your church, which was a form of manipulation. You're dealing with a prophet, brother. I'm looking in you. Okay? You preacher that ordained that baby. It was not of God. Because the true man of God um, ain't going to ordain a homosexual couple, lesbian couple, whatever, baby. Yeah. Trying to say, well, you know, uh, the baby wasn't at fault. But you know what? You are. Because the moment... And I'm not preaching homosexuality or lesbian, but when you are a man of the cloth, right. you're you going to have to carry the whole world or just have a seat. I, you ain't deceiving me, but I tell you one thing, you need to get that video down from around me with my name on it, with you preaching about homosexualities or lesbians, whatever. I don't know if you're calling me one. Or you, or you trying to say I'm gay bashing and I'm gay. I don't know what mentally reverse psychology game you trying to convince people, convince people. But you dealing with Lerone Baker, and I know Lerone Baker. You better get it down, cause if you don't, I'm gonna attack you too. You gonna leave me alone. All right. Okay. All right. Well, thank you. That well, was a great interview. Don't, don't get the blood pressure up about this stuff. <laughs> Shut up, Daisy. <laughs> I love you and thank you. Y'all pray I love for me. You too. And you know, y'all people, I know in the spirit, you people that are God know they feel me. I, I'm not trying to preach the carnal reprobate the people. Okay. Uh, you people that are saved feel this. This is for you to know that you're dealing, we're dealing in a satanic time. We are a and very, we, we, very satanic and time. And hey, we're not even gonna talk about the president. <laughs> okay. We're gonna leave him out because he's a liar. But I just had to throw that in there. I love you. Love you too. And I can't wait till we do our next next one. <laughs> All right. Bye bye. Love y'all.